Hey guys. Okay, so I know it's been a long time since I have done a video. Um, I just have not been in the mood to edit videos lately. But I do have a Bantu Not Out video that I need to edit. And so that will be coming um, hopefully by the end of next week. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a couple updates in this video. Um, first, I'll start with pregnancy. I am 32 weeks today. Um, this is my stomach. I'll show you in the mirror. So this is my stomach. And like I said, I'm 32 weeks and one day today. And everything has been going wonderfully. I have a doctor's appointment on the 21st. And I'm going to get that. So I have a doctor's appointment on the 21st, so I will, you know, get to hear the heartbeat for a little bit, and after that, my appointments will be every two weeks, and then when it gets even closer, it'll be every week. So, um, that's pretty much pregnancy update. Um, I'm still eating my fruits and veggies, and my workout routine is I work out with the other pregnant soldiers. Um, we do walking or slash jogging. I walk at a really, you know, fast pace. And um, we also do light CrossFit, um, bicycling. Um, we do the wristband or the band exercises. And that's pretty much our exercise. It's just basically light exercising. And other than that, um, drinking water like normal and my boobs <laughs> have gone from, and I think this is mostly the the width of my um, back has grown because I've gone from a 34B to now I'm in a 38B. So yes, that has been a struggle trying to um, figure out what size I am because my 34Bs definitely don't fit there. It's pretty painful. Um, 36Bs I thought would be thought would fit and they don't fit anymore. So now I'm in a 38B and these fit comfortably. It's not cutting into my skin um, because I was about to just like quit it and wear sports bras. But um, for other reasons, I like to have coverage in this area. So um, yes, cuff size growing <laughs> and everything else is good. So other than that, I wanted to give you guys an update as far as my face, what I use for my face because I don't use lotion on my face anymore. I got these Burt's Bees cleansing um, wipes basically and they are wonderful. I got them from Walgreens and I use them and when I use them on my face like it makes my skin just feel so refreshed and it's 99.1% natural. So I definitely like these. It's really good at removing makeup um so i would definitely recommend trying them out if you're looking for a good natural facial cleanser and after i use the cleansing wipes i use rose water on my skin in the mornings and then i follow that with a vitamin e moisturizing gel from fruit of the earth and with these two combinations like my skin feels just super refreshed it has a glow um, so I wanted to let you guys know that and sometimes I'll follow that up with coconut oil depending on if my skin feels dry or not so other than that today I tried the curly girl method um, it's a it's a light curly girl method and the reason I say that is because um, I have not done the curly girl method in a long time so it's not a tutorial I still need to like practice it a little bit more and get some of the you know system the flow going but basically the curly girl method is where you don't use sulfate shampoos to cleanse your hair and you leave the conditioner in your hair after detangling and let it um, either air dry or use a diffuser something like that so that's what I did today I used um, I did not cleanse my hair today because I cleansed my hair last week with um, a non-sulfate shampoo. So this week I used a mixture of the Diva Curl One Conditioner and the Salon Care Honey and Almond Conditioner. And I detangled with my Denman Wide Tooth Comb. 
and after that now when I'm in the shower the water kind of rinses out some of the conditioner while I'm detangling so that's why I said it's a light curly girl method I need to practice um, putting a little bit more conditioner in my hair um, so that way because the top of my hair is definitely frizzy and I forgot to put like um, the styler that I used which was um, the uh, Shea Moisture Curling Souffle. So the top of my hair always frizzes out because I don't know why. I think it's because it like rinses out more or I don't put enough conditioner because I'm scared of it getting on my scalp. So I had to practice with that a little bit more. So after that, I got out of the shower and I put um, a t-shirt over my head and let it um, dry in the t-shirt for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is what my hair looks like after that. Now, it's still really damp, um, still has some drying to do. Um, but I definitely wanna try this method again, um, just because my hair is getting longer and I want a little bit more control. But I stopped doing wash and goes probably for like the last month or so um, because it's just, it takes so long to dry. Um, but yes, I will put a picture once this fully dries in the Facebook group Curls by Grace. Um, that's spelled Curls B Y Grace on Facebook. And um, so when this dries, I'll put an updated picture because I'm not editing. But yes, I wanted to give you guys an update. I hope you guys are having a great November and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.